everybody. This is Kathy L. Murphy reporting live from Fort Walt Walton Beach, Florida. And I saw a group of men here. I'm going to scan around. They were all sitting here under this line at this resort that we're at. And I found out they're all military. They were helicopter pilots. They're from all over the country. And it reminded me of my dad and his cronies. They were all football coaches. So I'm just going to... Uh, do a quick interview with these guys and go around, let them introduce themselves. Tell them where you're from. We'll start with you, Wally. Well, we got to correct one thing you said. Okay. Only one of us here is helicopter pilot. Oh, only one. Okay. The rest of us were door gunners or two chiefs. Okay, we'll tell what you did and then we'll I'm get it. Okay. And any any other extraordinary thing about yourself? Oh, Jesus. You got Two hours? Yeah. <laughs> he can't tell you the whole time he's captain, and I won't let him talk about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I think I'm the other guys. Well, I would, I would catch you off because I'm a youth director at my church. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Let's see, Mike. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to be? Uh, This is fascinating. This good for you. <laughs> well, as you know, I come from a military family, and I love all these veteran stories. So God bless our veterans. Tell us about yourself, sir. Well, I was commissioned as second lieutenant out of UC Arlington back when it was the State College. Oh, and in Vietnam, I was a platoon leader with one of the helicopter platoons. And uh, each platoon was 10 aircraft and about no, 40 or 50 guys. That, uh, and that was in 68, got there right after 768, flew the whole year. And uh, after that, came back and uh, several years on helicopters. Wow. That's what I need to experience. Uh, yeah, I've never been up in a helicopter, but I would like to do that someday. So, thank you. And you're a chaplain also? I'm the unit, the association chaplain, yeah. That's fantastic. And I'm not even a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Okay. Hey, Sam. Hey, I'm Sam Davis. I live in uh, Hayesville, North Carolina. Love it. Uh, I was in the 174 from the uh, end of June of 67 yeah. until uh, the end of June of 68. Uh, as far as I know, I'm the only one in the company that got shot down by the Russian tank on the sea in between. Oh, my God. May of 68. I got shot down. Before my 20th birthday, oh. uh, uh, we just, uh, we seen a lot of accidents back then. And uh, if you were flying with an eye which is the Northern Five Province, yeah. about No, you weren't captured? No. Oh my gosh. We, we 
Amazing. Uh, thank you for your service. Wow. And here we got the new guy that just walked out. Dwight, tell us about yourself. Well, my name's Dwight White. I was with the unit in six, March 16th, 69. And I kept him flying. I was over in 409 PC detachment. And then we switched strictly to the 174. And I was what you call a witch doctor. But we had to do some witch doctor to keep him flying. Especially after Sam got to <laughs> We knew several of us were there to go. In fact, all four of us were there at the same time. But these guys were all in the flight platoons and stuff, and I was order maintenance, so we really didn't get to hang out because we were too busy catching yeah. them up. And we worked some mighty long hours keeping them flying. And twice right there, we had 100% flying. Say something about it. Okay, jump in there. Say something about it. We were talking about this this morning. Uh, helicopters, I had a friend that used to describe this 250,000 parts flying in close formation. And they were really, really complicated machines. And the whole time I was there, we never lost a helicopter because of mechanical failure. Right. It was always something else. And an amazing job these guys did. If you think it gets hot in Texas, it gets just as hot in Vietnam, but the humidity is even higher than the temperature. And yeah. they do 12 hour shifts, and sometimes more than 12 hour shifts in these terrible conditions. We wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have been able to fly one mission without them. Yeah. An incredible, really an incredible story that they kept these complicated machines. So, would you call Sam a MacGyver? You no, we call MacGyver MacGyver. We have, we have a MacGyver. Oh! No. <laughs> you have a MacGyver. Okay, that's great. I'm the MacGyver of the group. He's I'm talking about the white. He's the guy that was working on the mechanical. Oh! Not Sam. It was not unusual for us to fly. Sam was too well, goddamn dumb to work day. on the helicopter. Oh, so my God. that 14 hour day, you brought the that's aircraft awesome. back, and these guys had to have it ready to go at 6 o'clock the next morning. So well, you know. It was amazing. When you have a shared history that goes back this many decades, it's really a gift, you know, because you don't have to explain each other to, you know, you all know your flaws and your, you know, your things, but you also, this is really cool, and you all get together how many times a year? Uh, twice a year, yeah. normally. Most of us, this, this one reunion now, uh -huh. and then in October we have what we call Gaggle and Scott. Organized, just everybody who can comes here for the gaggle. Do they come here? Yeah. To this place? And, sit around and, walk, walk and we used to go to another place, but that changed, so now we come here. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's great. We've been coming to the end of the Fort Walton area since how far back, Wally? Early 90s. Early yeah. 90s. Oh. Early 90s. And, uh, we haven't all been coming that long. I didn't find them until. Oh, Sam found us in about 2000. Yeah, I'm sorry, 93. Mine was about 2000. Yeah, I think it was 93. And by the way, what we're doing here, we have a, you can find the 174 on Facebook. Okay. And we also have a website. Well, what's the website? It is 174AHC.org. I believe it's today. Repeat that one more time. 174 Okay, everybody, you hear that? I think that's right. Give these, give these fellas a salute and tell them thank you for the service. I can't tell you what a pleasure it was to meet all of you. This is Kathy L. Murphy reporting live from the island in Fort Walt Beach, Florida. I'm going to get a last parting picture. Okay. Oh, it won't record. I'll just scan y'all. But y'all have a great time while you're here. And thanks for watching, Cindy, Danielle. What a great group of guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.